Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the uh, second episode of uh, Eminem's Movie Talk. Um, my name is Mark Marshall, hence Eminem, um, spelled M N M. I try not to be real slim and shady or anything like that. So, uh, a few things to talk about. This is episode two. Like I said, we're, it's a work in progress, so it's going to be it's going to be different every time. Um, it's better every time. Um, so we're going to go over a few things real quick and uh, just talk about uh, what's going on in the movie biz. So right now, uh, we're going to tackle some things here. Uh, there was a report uh, by Vulture that says that uh, the Marvel CEO is not too hot on uh, female superhero movies. Obviously, um, there hasn't been much success uh, to either of these, uh, to, to any of the movies that have came out. Um, I believe there was a Wonder Woman script that Joss had done, Joss Whedon, and it didn't work out, never got, just never planned it, whatever happened. They, they didn't make it, obviously. Uh, Electra uh, with Jennifer Garner, which, you know, I actually didn't mind. Like, I thought the I thought the running through the forest scene was really cool with the, I can't remember the uh, the villain's names, but just bashing the trees. I thought, I thought they had some cool, you know, things about it. Uh, but, you know, definitely wasn't a fan with most comic book fanatics and uh, even movie goers for general. I, uh, also, yeah, Catwoman, which is not Marvel, but he's probably looking at that as well, which, what possessed them to make a Catwoman who wasn't Selena Kyle, or any Catwoman for that matter, Selena Kyle is the only Catwoman in my eyes, but this was a totally made-up new Catwoman that they made, with Sharon Stone looking like some weird crackhead dude as the bad guy, and, you know, I love Halle Berry, and she's hot and leather, but, uh, you know, I just, it, it just, what were they thinking when they made that? Maybe they just thought, eh, well, Halle Berry, it'll make money, but, uh, it was really insult to, to a lot of the comic book fans, too, um, especially after Michelle Pfeiffer's amazing performance, um, and that was a standalone movie, uh, the one that she did, uh, so Catwoman can work, uh, as a standalone movie, I don't know. So, you know, Marvel's looking at it like this. They, they've they seen Cat, the failure of Elektra, the failure of Catwoman, not being able to get Wonder Woman off. Um, I think there was a Supergirl series for a while, or a Supergirl TV movie that wasn't popular as well. Um, this information came out from a uh, leaks, one of the leaks that uh, when Sony had the leaks and the um, the email was titled "Women, Comic Book Women Hero Female Something Like That. So, uh, you know, it's not shocking, it's not surprising, but we do have a Wonder Woman movie on its way. So, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, being a dude, I'm definitely more into male... Uh, leads as comic book movies or books in general, uh, it's just I can relate to it better. I mean, it's nothing against women. I just, you know, there's not that many women characters, Marvel characters that I'm like a huge fan of. Um, you know, there's, there's, uh, what's it, Captain Marvel, um, uh, Wonder Woman I, is cool, but I've just never been, you know, uh, like a huge fan. Uh, Catwoman, I've always been a fan of her. I think Anne Hathaway did a great job as, as she gets a hard, hard, uh, rough these days, I think. Um, but she's an amazing actress and she went above and beyond. Everybody was real mad when they found out that she was Catwoman, but she really put her own style on it. It was very sleek and, uh, very clever the way they did it with the ears. And, and uh, I, I thought she killed it. I really did. So anyway, to get off topic, uh, Marvel does have some female characters. They have 
the very small part played by Colby Smolders. Uh, that's one of the agents of show. She pops up for like five minutes per movie. Um, Black Widow has been in almost every Marvel movie besides like Thor's Thor movies. Uh, they definitely make her badass, um, especially Scarlett Johansson. They know that's money in their pocket for promoting her. Uh, whether she'll get a standalone movie, I don't know. Um, I can see that happening, actually, especially if Wonder Woman's a success. Uh, so, yeah, so that's that's that. Um, we'll move on to uh, another topic here. Um, a lot of people are buzzing about, uh, and there's some really funny memes going around and stuff on the, on um, Twitter, but Martin Freeman has been cast to join the Marvel Universe. Uh, they're saying that he will be in Captain America 3 Civil War. Um, the part he'll be playing is unknown. Um, there's speculation that I've heard everything from Uncle Ben which, I mean, you know, you got a young Spider-Man, so a younger, older man than we've seen wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't make, it wouldn't make, it wouldn't be like a bad idea. I can see that. Uh, he's also been rumored to be Norman Osborn. Um, so I think he, there, a lot of people are thinking it's either going to be, he's going to be an associate of Doctor Strange, uh, or like they just want those two actors, Cumberlake and, uh, Cumberland and, uh, Freeman just to be in the same uh, scenes together because everybody's so happy that those two are now in the Marvel Universe. And uh, so we got Uncle Ben as a possibility. Uh, I already said uh, Norman Osborn. Um, uh, there's been rumors that he could just have a small part like Tommy Lee Jones esque, um, Robert Redford esque politician, Gary Shandling kind of part, real small. Uh, um, but, uh, we're not sure, yeah, nobody knows, um, so there's a lot of speculation out there about that, and, uh, so, anyway, either way, it's a, it's a win, Martin Freeman is an amazing actor, killed it in Fargo, um, you know, uh, great on the British TV office, so, uh, not, wasn't a huge fan of The Hobbits, not his fault, but. Uh, he definitely got his range, for sure. Um, it'd be cool if he was a character with superpowers or uh, some sort of... Uh, I'd perform to be like Norman Osborn. I think that would be really cool. Uh, let's see what else we have here. <sighs> there was one thing I do want to talk about. Um, where are we at? Uh, oh yes, yes. Um, how can we not talk about the recasting of Pennywise for the movie It, um, a movie based off of Stephen King? I think it's 900 pages. Uh, he uh, was originally Pennywise character. Of course, you probably know was played by Tim Curry, which. Is one of those people that you just can't imagine being replaced to somebody else. But, nevertheless, um, they have cast uh, this actor, young actor, 22, uh, Carrie uh, Funaga. No, I'm gonna just, just Carrie Funaga. Funaga. That's all I can. I'll have to figure that one out better. But you probably know him as the. Uh, the Ginger and uh, We Are the Millers, which is a, another movie that I worked on as well, and um, and apparently he was in the Maze Runner, which uh, I've yet to see. So uh, he will be uh, taking over. Um, you know, uh, Tim Curry is, is going to be hard shoes to fill, but this guy has shown that he can do comedy, can do uh, a little bit of drama, so we see how he does. He's definitely got that face. He's got a very uh, weird kind of distinct face. So put some makeup on that. You might have something pretty on point. Uh, what else do we have?
Let's see. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. Um, directors for the uh, new Spider-Man. Um, they are looking for uh, a new uh, Spider-Man director. Obviously, uh, there was a lot of rumors that they were going to go with uh, Drew Goddard as a director. Um, which made any really sense because he had worked with Marvel before. I believe he was going to direct, and I could be wrong on this, uh, the uh, uh, Sinister Six. Um, but now there's reports that he is not in the running anymore. Um, they have actually uh, had a few other people that they are thinking about doing. Um, one I really am a fan of is Jonathan Levine. Um, he did uh, Warm Bodies uh, back in 2013. And uh, he did uh, something else recently. Oh, The Wackness, one of my favorite movies. I don't know if you've never seen The Wackness, it's got that dude from Nickelodeon. Uh, I didn't watch it, but it used to become chubby. Now he's skinny. Anyway, The Wackness, great movie. Uh, John Levine, yes, all, all aboard for that. Totally would be a fan of that movie. Uh, or that choice of director. Uh, Todd Melfi, um, director of St. Vincent, so he's a fairly new director, so that would be a big break for him if he got that. Um, they'll probably get him for very cheap. Uh, Jason Moore, the guy that did Pitch Perfect, is another one. Uh, uh, I think that we've had Weber, who did a great job with 500 Days of Summer, but I think he just wasn't in his realm for Spider-Man. Um, I think he might have got the romance right, but uh, I, I just don't see Jason Moore uh, uh, doing it. He's, he's a comedy guy, and yeah, there's some comedy in Spider-Man, but it's not a last choice. Um, John Francis Daly and uh, Jonathan M. Goldstein. Uh, these guys are uh, actually doing the new um, vacation movie with Ed Helms and the uh, a lot of the original cast members. Um, they also did the incredible Burt Wonderstone. Um, these guys, uh, you know, not bad. I, I I wouldn't be crazy about that. Uh, Jared Hess, the guy that uh, did uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Um, and he's done some other movies as well. Uh, Masterminds, uh, yeah, Masterminds, which I worked on as well. It's called the National. They call it. We called it uh, uh, Fargo, Louis Fargo, uh, Louis Fargo, but that was Masterminds. So uh, yeah, I, my two picks would be Jared Hess, but I really would love to see uh, Jonathan Levine. I mean, what he did with Warm Bodies was awesome, and uh, Blackness. So oh, and he. Uh, also did 50-50 as well. That's right. So I think he's got what it takes to have the emotional and the the, uh, the uh, dark and uh, or the creepy. I think he's got it all. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, you know, comment. Tell me who you like as your director and who you think would be good. Uh, see if we got anything else here that I wrote down notes. Like I said, folks, bear with me. I'm going to be a lot more organized and quicker and faster on my feet. This is just the beginning. Uh, I will say this. Um, I uh, have not seen Mad Max yet. Um, I hear great things about it. Uh, so if anybody uh, has seen that, please don't spoil it for me, and uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, also, I've been keeping up with the community. I watched the first three episodes of the show Community. Uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed the. Uh, I think it was called Queer Studies or whatever with Dean, and they kind of finally answered that question: Is Dean really gay or what? Um, we always assumed he was, uh, but uh, it pretty much explains that he's everything. He goes and does it all. So, 
uh, that's the last episode I've seen, and so I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing that as well. I've seen the new catching up on the new episodes. Um, House of Cars 3 was great. Really uh, disappointed me in certain aspects. I don't want to spoil it for you, but, you know, I, I, it just um, it made me dislike people I used to like in the show. So, uh, one in particular. And uh, Kevin Spacey is magnificent as always, but uh, I just. Uh, it's still a great season. I just hope it does better next. And uh, it'll be interesting see what happens next as well. Uh, the director of Daredevil is uh, I, I gotta be more special but there is the director of Daredevil um, or Association of Daredevil that might be doing something else with uh, Marvel as well. Uh, Walking Dead actor Seth Gilliam was arrested for DUI. I don't watch Walking Dead. I think it's redundant. Um, oh no, let's not get bit. Next episode. Oh god, he got bit. Oh, now we have to wait until the last minute to kill him because we don't want to kill him until he turns full zombie. And then, oh, we got to run from the zombies. Oh, we met some people that are running from zombies too. Let's hang out. Let's be together. Not for me. But he is arrested for a DUI. Uh, apparently, he was going, um, according to the notes, 107 miles an hour and hit 55. I was going 55 into 35 when I got mine. It does make you want to speed. According to police, he was arrested after police discovered marijuana cigarette joint in his car at Fayetteville, Fayette County Jail. Uh, Gil was charged with DUI, drugs, paraphernalia, or possession, excuse me, and speed. Um, I don't know how big of a character this guy is on the show, but uh, that definitely, you know, I don't think that they should fire him over DUI. I mean, a lot of famous celebrities have had DUIs. Kevin Hart, um, uh, Reese Witherspoon. I mean, there's just been, or, or her, maybe that was her husband, but still, just, I mean, it's not, as long as you don't do any racist rants while you're getting arrested or do what Reese did and use their star power, then I think he'll be fine. Um, I'm just going to wrap things up here. Uh, basically, uh, How Badass Was the Game of Thrones last seen? Uh, don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but it's about time we had a scene like that. Um, and it was choreographed and edited amazingly. And, uh, it is going to be, uh, I, I'm looking forward to five. Uh, I really am. I actually watched the first four um, right when they leaked, and I think the fourth one just came out this past Sunday. So I am excited to finally get to re -watch, watch, start watching them again because I banged all four out on the first day. So uh, as far as sequels go, I do want to talk about Zoolander. Zoolander is going to be awesome. Um, Zoolander 2, I had my doubts because, you know, Ron Burgundy, say what you will about the sequel to Anchorman, but I loved it. I still enjoyed it. I still laughed my ass off. I found that it was better than Dumb and Dumber 2. Um, Dumb and Dumber 2 was a disappointment, but yet I will take a disappointment just to see those characters on the screen again. So, you know, it was, it felt like even though it took so long to get made, when they made it, I think they rushed it. It just didn't seem as thought out. And, uh, I feel like it was rushed uh, in a way. Um, and short and a little bit more corny than the first one. Uh, and then you've got uh, so Zoolander 2 coming out. And then Joe Dirt 2, which is not even going to theaters, but a whole nother story. Uh, big fan of Joe Dirt. I think they waited way too late. Uh, a lot of these movies have the sequels, um, but uh, for the for the classic movies, but Zoolander 2 is going to be interesting. Um, the fact that Ben Stiller is directing it gives me a lot of confidence that the movie will be good because will 
Finn has really stepped his game up. Uh, the uh, Secret Life of Walter Smay was phenomenal. I, I really think he should have gotten some type of award for that, whether it be directing or or um, you know, choreo choreography, and just the score. It was just it was just a phenomenal. Or the action, even at, like for the CGI, or whatever. Um, he's really done really good things with this. And he directed the first Zoolander, obviously. So I feel like if he's behind the one, he's behind that camera, the Zoolander 2 should be good. Um, and uh, hopefully won't fall victim to like the last two did and uh, to the success of the first one. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it now. Leave it at that. Uh, this is episode two. And uh, like I said, we're just at uh, the beginning stages. Um, but bear with me. It's going to get good. Signing out. See how long it takes me.